Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 129. We will do today 14th lesson in a series of 20 on the topic of ratios and proportions. Ratios and proportions, the 14th video in the series of 20. The problem for today is already on the blackboard. Let's read it together. It says three people, three people X, Y, and Z, we are told, worked on a project. We are further told that they put in they put in hours in the ratio of they put in the hours in the ratio of two to three to four. Furthermore, we are told that one person, one person worked 24 hours. Based on the fact that one person worked 24 hours, the question is which of the following could not could not be the total number of hours worked and the answer choices are 54, 72, 90 and 108. What I want you to do now is to pause the video, do the problem yourself once you have done it as always then resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. This by the way, this problem that you see as, as it stands in the black, on, on the blackboard is not the real version in the exam. Something like this will not appear in the exam probably because it is a little bit too simple in the real exam you will have the fourth person which, will, which we will do to, to tomorrow but uh, I, st I figured we will start out with something simple so one more time we have three people X, Y and Z we are told that they work in the ratio of 2, 3, 4 one person has worked 24 hours based on the fact that one person worked 24 hours which of the following could not be the total amount of hours worked 54, 72, 19, 100 I will give you five seconds to be able to pause and then pause the video make sure that you do it yourself first Well, let's begin. So we have three people. We have three people X, Y, and Z. Let's put them here. X, Y, and Z. Question number first answer choice says 54. 54. Well, first thing we have to realize is that they work in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 4. 2 to 3 to 4. Let's put it in a different color so we can see it. 2 to 3 to 4 tells us that 2 plus 3 plus 4. The total parts, total parts in this ratio problem are 2 plus 6 is 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. It's 9. 9, which means the total number of hours that are worked has to be some multiple of 9. Now, if it turns out that there is only one answer choice that is not a multiple of 9, then you're done. That could not be the possible number of hours. If you look at the, all the answer choices and if you analyze them, you will find that every single one of them is a multiple of 9. So that approach is not going to get us anywhere. For example, 54 is simply is simply 9 times 6. 9 6 of 54. I'm going to I'm going to move this thing back a little bit here because it's getting poor. I have to move the x a little bit further out. X, y, and z. 9 times 6. 9 times 6 implies 9 times 6 implies that each part each part is worth six hours. We are told that one person we are told that one person has worked 24 hours. Can we look at that one person who would, who would have worked 24 hours in this scenario? Well, it's very simple. They work, we are told, in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 4. Oh, well, there you go. 4, 6 at 24. 4, 6 at 24. In this scenario, in scenario A, it is Mr. Z who worked 24 hours. That is possible. Let's look at B. Answer choice B says 72. 72, of course, is 9 times 9 eighths. 9 eighths of 72. That implies that implies that in, in order for this to be true, one person and, and the fact that one person has worked 24 hours, we put the two together. We need 8 8 times 3 is 24. Right there, Y must have worked 8 times 3 is 24. In the second scenario, in, in scenario B. It is Y who has worked 24 hours. Let's keep on going. Answer choice C says, well you get the idea now, it's very simple now, 90. 90 tells us that in order for total number of parts to be 9, each part is worth 10 hours. Because 9 times 10, 9 times 10 is 90. That implies that given the fact that they worked in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 4, if each part is worth 10 hours, that implies that X must have worked 20 hours, Y must have worked 30 hours, 
and Z must have worked 40 hours, 20, 30, 40. As we can clearly see, as we can clearly see, nobody, nobody worked 24 hours. But we are told that one person did work 24 hours. This cannot possibly, this cannot possibly be the total number of hours worked by the three people because had 90 been the total number of hours worked by these three people in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 4 there would be nobody working 24 hours one person would work 20 hours, the second person would work 30 hours, the third person would work 40 hours there is no 24 hours C cannot be the right answer let's look at D D tells us the total number of hours that are worked are 108 108 we need to divide 108 by 9. Let's do it right here. 108 divided by 9. How many 9's in a 1? 1 has no 9's. 1 has no 9's. That 1 goes and joins the 0 becomes 10. How many 9's in a 10? 10 has one 9. 10 has one 9. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 8 and becomes 18. And 18 has two 9's. So voila. 9 times 12 it looks like 9 times 12 it looks like equals 108. Well if it's each part is worth 12 hours and one person has worked 24 hours. We need a person who has two parts. Two parts are right here. Mr. X. X has worked two parts and each part is worth 12 hours. Voila. So in answer choice D, in answer choice D, it is the X that has worked 24 hours. In answer choice B, it is the Y that has worked 24 hours. In answer choice A, it is the Z that has worked 24 hours. C is the only one that does not work because nobody can work 24 hours if the total number of hours turns out to be 90. Tell you what, I was about to close the video actually. I'll give you the homework for tomorrow. Tomorrow, as I said, tomorrow's problem is, is going to be very similar to this one. Same logic will apply, same logic, same concept, same thinking, same rationale, same method would apply in the problem that I'm about to give you, tomorrow, uh, about to give you for tomorrow. The only complication is that we will have to deal with four people. So let's do that. So now we have four people, let's give them name, let's christen them. This is this is the problem for tomorrow, you understand? So we have four people, not three. And then do it yourself ahead of time. Four people, let's call them, what do you want to call them? Not that it matters, but I'd rather be consistent with my notes here. R, S, T, and U. Four people, R, S, and T. R, S, and T work on a project. They put in the hours. They put in the hours in the in the ratio in the ratio of. This is for tomorrow. You understand? In the ratio of what? Oh, there we go. I was very creative actually. Here we go. Two to three to four to five. As I tell you, sometimes the creativity just shocks me. One person we are told works 60 hours. One person works 60 hours. Based on the fact that one person works 60 hours and the four people work on the project in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 4, which of the following could not be the total number of hours worked? And here are the answer choices. We have one more answer choice. Four hundred and twenty. 280, 210, 168, and 140. One more time, 420, 280, 210, 168, and 140. This is your homework for tomorrow. Make sure you do this problem ahead of time before you watch tomorrow's video, day number 129, the 15th in the series of 20 on ratio and proportions. Alright? My phone is ringing. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.